Breast cancer diagnosis will rock any world. Yeah, but learning that it could have been prevented was enough for one lone jack woman to take her story to court. Beth Vaughn shows us how she's spreading the word about the long-term effects of a drug that was taken off the market in 1971. When Sharon Hunter Putch was trying to have children in the 60s, her doctor prescribed diethylstilbestrol. These were the days you have to remember when doctors were up sort of on a pedestal. The synthetic form of estrogen was thought to prevent miscarriages. Back then, the long-term effects of the drug were unknown. The guilt never ends. Her daughter, 48-year-old Elena Zimmerman, was diagnosed with breast cancer two years ago. I felt a lump on a Sunday. Surgery, four rounds of chemotherapy, and six weeks of radiation put Zimmerman in remission. We're living proof that we're still suffering from what was done. But what she learned next was the biggest bombshell of all. So it's just a constant state of fear, basically. Studies show that women exposed to diethylstilbestrol in the womb will face dramatic health risks in their 40s and 50s. According to the National Cancer Institute, one in 50 women will develop breast cancer because of their exposure to deaths. And the risk increases as women age. Finally, they should understand what, you know, their implications were by keeping allowing that drug to be out there in the market. Zimmerman took her story to court as part of a 53-woman civil lawsuit. Last month, a judge ordered 14 drug companies to provide compensation. Zimmerman says a settlement will provide just a small dose of justice. I wish that greater care was given to um, testing drugs before innocent people are involved. Those feelings stronger than ever because new research shows the effects of deaths reach two generations. It's a horrible feeling, you know, to realize that what you've done to your own children. The guilt of a drug lingering 41 years after it was taken off the market. The law firm at the forefront of this fight wrote, it is critically important for deaf daughters to be vigilant about breast cancer screening, to avoid female hormone therapies, and for doctors to ask about deaf exposure in assessing heightened breast cancer risk. Now, deaf is also linked to premature deaths, vaginal cancer, cancer, and much more. Studies uncover new information about this drug, guys, every day. Wow, what an eye-opening thing. Now, any support available for these deaf daughters? That's a great question. You know, I was just contacted today about uh, by a group called Death Action USA. They work to fund research and also connect these women who have similar stories. There's also a Facebook page, of course. Uh, I've linked that to our website, NBCActionNews.com, under health. I imagine there's some women watching saying, I wonder, and you say, talk to your parents. Yeah, it's an important around. conversation to have. You know, if you were born between 1940 and 1971, have that important conversation with your mother. All right, very good. Thanks, Beth. Mm -hmm.